हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट थर्टीन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस दिस इज द सीरीज ऑफ डॉट नेट ऊप्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विथ प्रैक्टिकल एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव कवर 50 क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन इंटरव्यू डॉट नेट ऊप्स सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच अर्लियर वीडियोज यू कैन वॉच दो वीडियोज टू क्लैरिफाई दीज क्वेश्चन ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन ऑन कंस्ट्रक्टर इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज आई कवर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन इंटरफेस फ्रॉम डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट थर्टीन आई विल बी कवरिंग द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन कंस्ट्रक्टर सो लेट्स रीड आउट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड यूज ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर थर्ड वन इज वॉट इज डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर सो लेट्स read out uh, let's study about the what is constructor and use of constructor so what is constructor constructor is a special method of a class which will invoke automatically when instance or object of class is created constructor name should match with class name and constructor does not have any written type what does it mean constructor is a method and uh, just like a method it it does not have any written type and the constructor name should match with the class name itself so that is known as a constructor and what is the use of constructor constructor are responsible for object initialization and memory allocation of its class if we create any class without constructor so this is a very important line okay so if we create any class without constructor the compiler will automatically create one default constructor for that class there is always at least one constructor in every class so uh, let's do one thing let's uh, understand by practical okay and uh, let's open the console application so this is a console application let's add one class here class let's give the name employ constructor okay so this is our class and uh, how we can create the constructor so constructor can be created like this public the constructor name should match with the method name like this okay and if you want to create constructor through shortcut so there is a shortcut available ctor double tap so automatically it is going to create the constructor this is known as a default constructor even if we don't have this constructor in our class automatically when object of a class is created so if object of this class is created e automatically default constructor will be created so default constructor will be created okay so this is the use and another thing uh, first uh, use of constructor is uh, to allocate the memory so this constructor is used to allocate the memory second uh, variable or any uh, member if you want to initialize in constructor then we can initialize the member also in constructor okay another question was different type of constructor so there are five type of constructor are available first one is default constructor second one is parameterized constructor third one is copy constructor then static constructor then private constructor so these are five constructor available in dot net and uh, we will be seeing the practical example and all the uh, question which can be asked in constructor so we will be covering in future videos so let's uh, uh, read out the third question what is default constructor so default constructor is what a constructor without having any parameter called default constructor so let's go to uh, visual studio as you can see this constructor does not have any parameter and this is known as a default constructor so it it won't have any uh, parameter any uh, default so that is known as a default constructor and 
in this constructor every instance of the class will be initialized without any parameter values so it means if uh, uh, we don't pass any parameter that is called a default constructor and even if we don't create default constructor when we create the object of class so default constructor is created so these are the three questions which I covered in this video. In upcoming session, we will be studying about uh, or uh, having all the question based on this constructor, parameterized constructor, when to use the parameterized copy, static and private constructor. I hope you guys have liked my videos. If you have any suggestion question, please uh, uh, give me your uh, suggestion in comment. Also, if you have any uh, question which you want me to cover, then you can also mention in uh, comment or you can mail me also. Thanks for watching. Bye.